Hi everyone, Applesauce here. How's it going? Happy first day of summer to you all. I hope you're having a great start to your summer so far. I am. It's been really hot where I live, so it definitely feels like summer. I'm really excited because I like warm weather. It's easier to get dressed. Um, my makeup's usually kind of minimal. You know, it just seems more effortless and... It's just the nice time of year. I like not having to bundle up and, you know, make big heavy meals and things like that. So I actually prefer summer over winter. Well, I do now anyways, but ask me in a few weeks when it's been 100 degrees for a week and then I'll probably say, give me winter. So anyways, um, today's video is going to be a box box roundup. Um, I'm going to give you just quick reviews of everything from the last video that I told you about. Uh, I feel like I've had a chance to really use the products and give you an on honest opinion and tell you like what to skip and what to maybe look for on your next trip to the drugstore. Um, almost all of these products can be either found at like Long's, Walgreens, Walmart, Target, you know, any place like that. So let's just get started. So the first product I want to talk about is the um, Bath and Body Works Paris Amour um, spray mist. I really enjoyed this. Um, it's very light, very nice for summer. Uh, it does last a pretty long while, so I liked that. I'm always looking for a fragrance that's going to take me throughout the day without really having to refresh or touch up unless I want to. Um, the only thing is, is that you can't really throw this in your bag and go. So you just put it on in the morning and then you're set for the day. Um, the notes in this are French tulip, Apple Blossom and Sparkling Pink Champagne. And to me it smells like there's like a little bit of powder in this too, but not really powdery to where it smells like baby powder or like old lady smell. Anyways, so um, I really like that. I will probably continue to use this. Um, the next item I have is the Aveeno uh, Daily Moisturizing Body Wash. This was just okay. I mean, it's your run-of-the-mill drugstore type body wash. Um, wasn't anything like super spectacular about it, but you know it did the job. It made bubbles and it got me clean, so I guess that was kind of a hit on its own. Um, the next item was the chapstick. Um, I used this a couple times, but I did notice because it has um, it has a, a sunscreen of SPF 50 in it which is good because you need that when you're in the sun. Um, but it left kind of a white residue, sort of like uh, like if you ever put zinc on your nose or you know under your eyes when you're at the beach type of thing. I noticed that it did give a white cast and I'm not a big fan of that. So I probably won't use this too much. So, eh, you know, can always use a good chapstick. Maybe I'll give it to Pork Chop and see if he has a use for it because he probably doesn't care about the white cast. So. Next item was the Soy Joy. Um, this is the blueberry flavor. I think I mentioned um, as soon as I got the box, I kind of ripped into this because I was hungry. And they have changed their formula, and these are much better than they used to be. Um, they're gluten free, they're pretty low calorie, um, good for throwing in your purse and having for a snack, you know, just kind of on the go or an emergency situation. Um, so I would definitely recommend these. Um, the good thing I thought was that, that they don't have too many calories and that kind of stops me from eating too many of those bar type things just because I feel like they're empty calories. They're not going to really sustain you for that long. But this has lots of good stuff in it. Um, it's gluten free. Uh, it has whole soy and real fruit and it's 140 calories, 6 grams of fat. So if you see these at the store, uh, I would recommend just at least trying them and seeing what you think. Um... Next item was the Sally Hansen Nail Effects. Um, these are the kind of stick-on-and-go type um, nail decorations or whatever you want to call them. But the cool thing is, I think I mentioned this in my other video, um, that they are real nail polish. So that was cool, and they're super easy to apply. Um, after, like, the third nail, I kind of started to get the hang of it, and they were pretty easy. 
What One thing you do want to do, though, is make sure and push back all your cuticles, like it says on the box, because um, I noticed that the strips were kind of on the large side, and you don't want those going on, like, your cuticles. So you want to make sure and have as big a uh, big area as you can to work with. And um, one of the big reasons that I wanted to do this video today was because I still had these on. I put these on on last Thursday, I think, and um, I don't know if you can see. They're still looking pretty good. Um, they're supposed to last 7 to 10 days, and it's been almost a week, so I would say that the claims are pretty accurate. Um, the other cool thing that I thought was that... Uh, it's pretty much, this glitter color here is pretty much a dupe for the OPI um, Rainbow Connection uh, Glitter Polish from the Muppets uh, collection that was out a few months ago. So I actually did touch up just a couple of little spots that I noticed like right away when I did them that I wasn't able to cover with the decal. Um, so that was cool. And then um, I just put a layer of clear uh, top coat over the top to, to help, you know, keep it on longer. But um yeah, so I would totally recommend these. Uh, I have some in a leopard print also that I had purchased on my own a while ago, and I just never used them because I was like, couldn't be bothered with them. But now that I know how easy they are to apply and that they really do last a long time, I would probably uh, buy these again. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. So, and the color that I have is um, Frock Star. <laughs> that, that's cute. So, yeah, totally like those. Um... And I think the last thing was these um, Dr. Scholl's uh, Ball of the Foot cushiony things for your heels. And I did try them um, in these beauties, my Magic Unicorn shoes. Um, and they did provide a good amount of cushion. Um, and I didn't feel as much um, cramping or uh, like slipping in the um, toe part on these. These are actually pretty comfortable anyways, but um, I liked having the extra cushions, so that was that was cool. Um, and I will continue to use these probably. And you can take them in and out of shoes, so I can put these in my black heels or some other sandals, you know. Um, and yeah, so use them again. So that's cool. Multi-use is always good in my book. Um, and I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, oh, uh, the concealer, the concealer, the sheer cover concealer that they gave me. Shoot, uh, I don't know where it is, but I've been using it, and I've just been using um, this really little uh, concealer brush from e.l.f., and uh, just applying it on my spots and it was like um, a duo where you could kind of mix and match to customize your own um, like perfect concealer color and I really liked that a lot so it's probably going to last me a really long time but if I needed to I would probably repurchase that product as well um and I think that pretty much covers it for the f the spring um, beauty box from Influencer. So I hope that you guys liked my Roundup review. Um, yeah, and I think that's pretty much it. I'm sorry it's been so long since I made a video, but I have all these ideas in my head and then I just lose steam once I get home, you know, doing all of my housewife duties and whatnot. But since it's been lighter longer, I think that um, that might be more of a motivator for me. So be sure to let me know what other kind of videos you would like to see in the future. I'm always looking for suggestions, as you know. Um, I am going to be taking a makeup class on Sunday evening at the Mac store. So I may have some techniques and such to share with you um, from that. I'm really excited about that. I'm not doing it like for anything but fun. So hopefully I will have a good time, I'm hoping. Um, and I'll probably have some new makeup to share with you then. And I was thinking today about doing that long-awaited perfume collection video. So I might do that soon. Um, 
And yeah, I think that's about it. Hope that you guys are having a good day and thank you so much for watching. Um, and I'm probably gonna get a lot of questions about my necklace. It's from my new favorite website called bobblebar.com. They have very affordable baubles. You should check it out. Um, and yeah, so that's about it. I hope uh, that I will see you guys very soon and have a great day today and every day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.